and we have to understand why it's called the Ma'arat HaMachpelah. Ma'ara is a cave, Machpelah is a double cave, meaning there's a cave, but under that there's another cave. And that's why it's called Machpelah, it's kaful, it's, it's double, right? And it's amazing because we're going to go inside, I'm going to get you out in the sun, and uh, we're going to speak about it. Remember, this is what Abraham is going to be buying from the Chiti. All of the Sadeh, all of the area, get it with the Mara. This is something very new that they're working on here. Let's see. Amen. So Baruch Hashem, you have learning Torah every day. This door is where there's a Muslim. He comes up from here and he goes into the mosque and that's when he starts singing, right? So he comes from this door, you see? So it's, it's locked all the time and he comes from here. And when he comes over here, the Israeli the soldiers come next to him and the scorpion comes over to there. Because on the other side of this wall is where they, they have, yeah, that's where they are. That's where the mosque is. Now, the other side of the wall is where the tomb of Yitzchak is. Yitzchak and Rivka. And for 10 days a year, we're able to go there. This was the agreement that was made in 1967, unfortunately. But 10 days a year, we're all to be, we're all to be there for a little on Parshat HaYisara, right? So that's one of the days. So we're able to go on that side. Otherwise, we're not allowed to. It's forbidden. According to the tradition, this is where the head of Asa, his body kept him out of the Mara, but his head rolled into it. Sons of Yaakov came to the Kever of Martha Machpela. It's a brother of Yaakov. He was uh, deaf. He couldn't hear. And he, he like caused problems. Asa said, I'm the, uh, the, the older son, okay? This is mine. This is what Yeshua said. I sent Naphtali a document that showed the from Mitzrayim, right, that it was actually given to Yaakov and not to Esav. Kushim ben Dan. He couldn't hear what was going on. He says, he sees that Yaakov, you know, is a bizayon. It's a terrible embarrassment. Or is it a father not to be buried? Natal Kerit, he took us to work. And he took off the head of Esav. And that was also buried in the Maratha Machpelah. And this is according to what it says that the Talmud is lovely, and the Gemara is Sota, and he had a Gemma over that, Yom Gimel, in the Russian. So this is where, according to the, the tradition, of course, I don't believe it's right here, but it's inside the Marat, below. You can see what the, the Muslims have done here, but they made a whole kever, all right? They, that he was, they believe the, the stories of the Bible, yeah. So it's also, you know, but this is for us, right? Yeah.